I'm honestly in my soft guy era, like legit. It's the best thing I've ever done in my life. All this, oh, you know, you do everything, you provide everything for a woman and she don't do nothing. She just do what she want. That's crazy. Okay, I need me a helper. Okay, in the, in the Bible, Adam and Eve, she he he had help. Okay, I need a helper. So if you ain't gonna help me get to the millions, th nah, I don't I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I'm not here to be your help. I'm not here to be your provider. You need God to provide for you. I'm here to help. I'm not. I'm in my soft guy era. You feel me? If I can do all this for myself. Provide this lifestyle for myself. You're not going to come into my life. And next thing you know, I have to diminish myself, diminish my lifestyle to provide for you. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm in my soft guy era. Don't play. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amaomi, a.k.a. Petit Diva. And in this video, we are discussing soft guy era or the drizzle drizzle guy movement. Now, if you don't know what that is, let's find out together because I saw a particular video where a guy was talking about soft guy era and the drizzle drizzle moment and i'm like what is that is that supposed to be like the opposite of the soft girl era or soft girl movement and the sprinkle sprinkle movement any which way let's find out what this particular guy means about the soft guy era or the drizzle drizzle movement hey listen fellas we done with the whole masculine provider male era we're in our soft guy era, okay? Drizzle, <laughs> drizzle. Listen, I don't know who need to hear this, but until that woman asks you to be her husband, ha. you don't have to do husband-like things. Stop giving these women husband advantages and amenities, and you're still a boyfriend. Until that ring is on your finger, you shouldn't be uh -huh. doing anything, period. Drizzle, drizzle. Like... Y'all be so caught up on getting with Dusties and all that. You need to start going after their moms. See, I know a lot of y'all think that older women may not be that much attractive or whatever the case may be. But there's a lot of good looking older women. And I feel like you guys can deal with these older women who is going to take care of you and treat you like a king that you are. Drizzle, drizzle. Now, there's 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 a point where as as a man in your soft guy era, you shouldn't be pumping your own gas. You shouldn't be cleaning out your car. You shouldn't be having to change your tires. You shouldn't be having to have to put air in your tires. You shouldn't have to mow the grass. That's all the responsibilities of your woman. The moment you become a husband, then things change. But until then, that woman should be taking care of everything. And you shouldn't be showing her no reason on why she should stick with you for the rest of her life. And in hopes that she makes you her husband. Drizzle, drizzle. Uh, you need to stop giving out so much to these women. Like, y'all giving up the dookie quick as hell. And y'all dropping it off. And these women are not appreciating it. I think you need to hold out. Even if you have sex with 100, 200 women, you need to hold out and make that woman wait until she shows you that she's capable and that she's loving enough for you to give your body to her. You know, because at the end of the day, it's all about us. It's all about us. We just want our equal rights as men. So drizzle, drizzle. Listen, I don't think y'all understand what this whole self guy era movement is really doing. It's really exposing that a lot of women play ignorant to men's feelings and how they treat men. Because if you look at some of these comments and even the responses I got from my video, there's literally women answering their own questions with their own logic. So that means they're fully capable of doing the right thing. They just choose to do the wrong thing because there's nobody to stand up for men. We have no public voice. Even though we created and did everything, we have no public voice for our mental shit that we go through. And this whole soft guy era movement just shows you that women know what they do to us. Women know what they're capable of and what they're actually indulging in. And they don't give a fuck. They don't care. Like, really look at all the comments. Really look at these stitches and reaction videos. They like, oh, they really want to be us. They really want Because what a lot of women don't understand is that they benefit from men's hard work. Whether they want to accept it or not. That stoplight, man. That police officer, man. That firefighter a man like there's things that they benefit from us that they just don't want to admit to and that's cool 
but we know the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I actually hope that that video, especially the first one, the first part, was a joke and just trying to mimic what some people would say about the sub girl era and the sprinkle sprinkle movement because it cannot be how some men want to live their life because that is ridiculous um i shouldn't have to pump the gas she should pump. she should what excuse you i shouldn't have to provide for her <laughs> okay now someone in the second part he was talking about um the reply that some women was giving to his video and everything now i think this his video and his thought process is caused by actually some women who are saying they want to be in their sub girl era and they want to be fully taken care of by men now personally i have a video where i talked about the whole sub girl era and i talked about the fact that i want to treat myself better that's my own definition of soft girl era. Not really that someone should be taking care of me. It would be nice, but I don't want to attribute me being in my soft girl era to being taken care of by a guy. And I think that's what is giving him this morale to say that thing that he just said. Now, too many women are saying, oh, to be in their soft girl era. They want to be taken care of by older men, men that are established and the rest and rest. And so you kind of flip the script. And if you are in your South Girl era that is sponsored by your own hard work and your determination to just relax and live life, do a lot of self-care and the rest. No person will come and be saying this kind of nonsense to you, in my own opinion. And I, they will even have this audacity that he had to say the nonsense and then talking about how women are ignorant but i know that some people are of the is this sprinkle sprinkle i don't even know what that sprinkle sprinkle movement is i think i'll have to check it after this video um but apparently is to be taken care of by people or make the man take care of i don't even know i don't know i don't know but for what he's saying it says that that's what the whole movement is all about and they are now flipping the script it's hilarious i'm not against guys having to take care of their mental health take care of their self self do a lot of self-care and the rest not hustle to the point where they put themselves into conditions where they their mental health is affected their physical health is affected i think every guy should have time where he's taking care of and um some self-care and um also take care of their mental health but the, the, the this video is weird very weird to me and uh anyway Trey, let's check out what some guys and ladies have to say about the sub guy era and the drizzle drizzle movement hey listen fellas we done with the whole masculine provider male era as much as I go look at that video, as much as I want to disagree, he nailed it. <laughs> that whole drizzle, drizzle got me so drizzle, drizzle. Um, dang. All right, so I was talking to someone, right, and she didn't believe in gender. She was against gender roles, right? The expectation of women, you know, do house chores or men do this and that, right? But then expected to be treated as a queen you either disagree with the gender roles or you abide by the gender roles it is what it is right a lot of women they think that they get to pick who they marry hold on pump your brakes stay in your lane right before you get all rowdy time is valuable for women because then they can't procreate they can't have kids at a certain age so if you think about it logically don't get your emotions up in this men are the ones that choose their mate their wives right the whole 
proposal thing. I'm choosing you to be my wife. It's not the other way around. You can go against it. You can talk about it. You can be in agreement to marry that guy, but you're not picking that guy. You can disagree all you want. Like one of the, uh, uh, what's her name? I forget, but she's on the East Coast. She's, don't argue with me. Argue with your therapist, right? Um, But it's true. You shouldn't have to pump her gas. Oh, it's gentleman-like. What are you as a female doing? Man, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> ah, they're going to hate this. But it's true. Go, go listen to it, right? I was talking, I was dating, not talking, but dating um, this older woman. Nailed it. Nailed it. I, she was 47. She was 47. So she was like three, three years older than me. <sighs> Completely different attitude, right? Um, her approach was, how can I take care of you? Then I, I could only reciprocate that. So, man, man. Drizzle, drizzle, my baby. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> oh, man. But once that ring goes on, then the protector provider kicks in. I, I, I agree. This whole mentality of show me you can be, you can be my man or you can be a man. Nah, that's all psychological BS. So, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> this is one of the realest drizzle drizzle satire reverse psychology movements that i've ever seen on social media on tiktok this is wild how all of these women is going back and forth with these men, he said a whole tone out of a joke. And it done went 50, 11 times around the moon on TikTok. And it all came from reverse psychology. That was smooth as ever. And I've been laughing for a minute because I caught it from the first snippet when I seen what was going on. And I just been a laughing and a laughing and these women about to lose. Calm down, ladies. Calm down. It was just a joke. It was a real legit joke. Reverse psychology on how women actually be sounding saying half of the stuff that they actually be saying out of their mouth. If you got to make it make sense, make it make sense. And he just did it in reverse as far as a man saying it and seeing how it sounded. And oh, he done pissed off everybody. Log off TikTok, log off TikTok. Log off. <laughs> we done with the whole masculine provider male era. We're in our soft guy era. So one of my girlfriends just brought me to Chipotle and I'm like, what are we doing here? Do I look like the type of man that eats at Chipotle? Like show some respect. So then she took me to Applebee's and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I Ubered out of there. Kings, know your worth. Don't let these girls take you to these trash restaurants. Like I wanted a filet mignon. How am I supposed to get that at Applebee's? Do I really look like an Applebee's type of guy? I don't even know. I'll probably give her the silent treatment for like two days. And frankly, it was so stressful that I'm spending the rest of the day burning zero calories. It's my zero calorie day today. Babe, I want some hot chocolate. Okay.
criticize Gen Z, but I have to say I'm definitely proud of this soft guy drizzle drizzle movement. This is a message I've been preaching since I've been in my early 20s. It wasn't something that men were jumping on board with at the time. The men were just so thirsty. These younger guys seem to have a little bit more self-respect. I'm actually proud to see that. Women kind of ruined it for themselves because they made themselves so easily accessible in this modern era with the OnlyFans and the Instagram stuff. There's no mystique to it anymore. Even an attractive woman these days is like a dime or dozen. It's like, and I didn't feel like that back in the day, you know? It was like just going somewhere and like watching a beautiful woman walk by was like a, a big deal, you know? It was like, oh my God, you know? And nowadays it don't mean nothing, man. You just swiping, 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 swiping. You feel me? So. I think that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, man, we gotta have some self-respect, man. Stop letting these women who really have nothing to offer, they have terrible personalities, immature, they don't have nothing going on for themselves. All they are is attractive women. We let them get a pass because of that, as men. We gotta raise our standards out here, man. So keep it up, young men. Let's flip the script out here. So I just came on this date with this girl and she went in the building without opening the door for me. So I'm just gonna wait out here until she comes back out and opens the door for me. You know what? No, I'm leaving. Drizzle, drizzle. Yeah, that's right. I'm walking away because 2024, we're doing things different. I'm not going to sit there and be disrespected. Like, if a girl's not going to hold open the door for me, she obviously doesn't want my presence around her. We're the prize men. Soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. What's actually hilarious is the amount of women that are outraged by this soft guy era because basically these men are flipping their roles on them and they realize how ridiculous and unrealistic it sounds when a man says it, but then when they say it, it's not ridiculous. Like some women have even gone as far as to call these men gay and act really homophobic towards them for simply asking for what they're asking for. And what I get from it, even if it is a joke, jokes aside, it's about reciprocation and it's showing how many women expect it automatically because their inflated egos are telling them that they deserve it no matter what, without any reciprocation. And I don't know about you guys, but any relationship that you're in deserves appreciation, reciprocation, and I think a lot of you guys need to go back to kindergarten where we learn to treat others how you want to be treated. Because if you don't want to be used, then don't use people. If you don't want to be looked at as a paycheck, don't be a gold digger. If you want respect, you have to give respect. If you want someone to be compassionate and considerate, you have to be compassionate and considerate. And yes, this absolutely goes both ways. So the fact that so many women are showing the fact that they'll never reciprocate the same energy, this explains why so many men are out here, just match my energy, match my energy and I'll match yours. And the problem is it's not happening. And it's the same way that so many women will come online and bash men and talk shit about men and, and talk about their first dates being awful. But the moment that my platform or other women like me call out toxic behaviors, it's a problem. So y'all can talk shit about men and their toxic behaviors, but when women call you out on your own toxic behaviors, it's different. Anyways, drizzle drizzle, kings. Okay, bye sophomore era has dawned and i am here for it sign me up if a woman out here is talking about some 50 50 on to the next one drizzle drizzle i'm accepting nothing less when you driving squeeze my knee okay in an airport once we get through security take my hand and lead us to the gate i am turning my brain off thank you we're walking somewhere in public, you psychoanalyze every moving person and emergency exit while internally I'm just listening to Vanessa Carlton. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing, I'm homebound. I am officially a pillow prince. I'm going to tell you things like don't stop and you bet not stop even though you've been engaging every muscle, your whole core is on fire. You bet not stop. I want my legs on your shoulders. <laughs> there are going to be days where I don't drink water or eat. All I'm going to have is a, a iced latte and half a gogurt. And when I start to feel bad and I get cranky, don't give me a solution, okay? Rub my head and feed me. Because I do bad all by myself. I make well over six figures. I live alone in New York. I got a car. I don't need a roommate. I need a woman who will provide. Oh, we know exactly what you ladies want. But we're not giving it anymore. Drizzle, drizzle. We're done with the patriarchy and this old archaic way of doing things where we're supposed to provide and protect for you. Where we're supposed to be willing to risk and give our lives for you. Listen, we don't need to bring anything to the table because we are the table. Without my seed, you can't have any kids, drizzle, drizzle. 
So what you going to do about that? Listen, we are in our soft guy era. I need to get my beard taken care of every Tuesday. So I'm going to need you to go ahead and send $75 to my barber via Cash App every Tuesday before I get there so that I can get my hair taken care of. Drizzle, drizzle. All right. And when you get your taxes from working hard all year while I stay at home and play PlayStation, I need you to give me the whole amount so I can flip it for us. Drizzle, drizzle. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We're no longer being providers and protectors and buying into the patriarchal system of letting you guys get on the boat first if the sink is shipping. No, 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 no. We're done with those days. We are equal now. So we will get on the boat based upon whoever is the strongest. Drizzle, drizzle. All right. So don't ask us to do anything, provide anything. If we go out to eat 50, 50, drizzle, drizzle. If you have another kid by another man, 50, 50, drizzle, drizzle. All right, ladies, the men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. At the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man, those things are all bad. Put them away. Okay. They said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. So I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So... I hope that you get everything that you wanted because, ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. Drizzle, drizzle. All right, ladies. The men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. Shout out to that community. Go back and watch our video. But the whole thing is the, 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 the movement started as a joke and they... You got some women I have taken this so serious. It, it, it's just funny because some of these women said they want a, a, a man that's more, you know, in tune with his emotions. And look what now. Some of the men just trying to show y'all that some of the things y'all be requesting and won't be sounding so absurd. Now that it's coming from a man, now, now it's, it's wild. Like, it, it's so funny. And then the other crazy part about it is like, some women really think this is like, 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 Men want to be like this. Like, this is really a, a running, it's like a gag joke. Like, you're the only one who's not getting it. And I don't understand, like, how. Like, it's, it's literally in your face to interpret as a joke. Like, it's, it's crazy. Last thing I'm going to say about this whole thing is, like, men want women, women want men. I don't know where the confusion is coming from, but why it keeps getting discombobulated. But hey, we had a soft guy era now. Just... So we're going ahead with the soft guy era and just putting all of our requirements out there. I'm going to go ahead and do mine right quick, okay? All I need, all I need. What, what's that saying? A woman makes a house a home? So that make it a home. If you're not bringing six figures to do that, what are you doing? Also, if you're anything shorter than 5'7", don't even bother. Just keep walking. You might be wondering, why 5'7"? What? What do you mean, why 5'7"? You think I'm going to want to reach to the top shelf for you every single time? Nah. If you ain't 5'7", and you can't reach the top shelf, again, that's just gross. Ew. Don't even bother. Like, it's, don't embarrass yourself with me, okay? And then, of course, you know, being fit, being cheeked up, having them thighs that'll make my obliques feel like they've been through a workout. You know what I mean? I feel like, as a man, this is all pretty reasonable. And as far as the more intimate, passionate side of things, Take a listen to Kim Petra's XXX song, and you'll know exactly what I want. With that said, it really shouldn't be too difficult. The bar is underground with these sort of requirements. If you're expecting the glizzle glizzle to give you that drizzle drizzle, you better step your game up. That's all I'm saying. Ladies, I'm in my soft guy era. Y'all are going to have to step it up. I don't know what y'all think we are supposed to be doing for y'all. 
but these video games are not going to play themselves. Do you have any idea how much these video games cost? Hang on. Anyway, I get it. If you want to do some cheap bullshit like going on a walk for a first date to get to know me a little bit. But if that goes well, you better be coming with the money. Do you have any idea how much it costs to look this good for you? This is like 12 bucks. It's gonna last me like two years. Yeah, so all, all I'm really saying is if you can't afford to take me out somewhere nice three, maybe four times a week, that's all. It doesn't have to be every day. I just don't think you should be dating, you know? I mean, I, I've got to be able to spend my spare time in my energies. Know what I'm saying? Drizzle, drizzle. This is embarrassing for black men. Well, fuck it. I'll hop in then and I'll say the same thing. I am in my soft guy era. Now it's embarrassing for all men that we're holding our standard the exact same way that you have a standard for us. Okay. That's the woman playbook. They'll either call you insecure, they'll call you gay, which is homophobic, don't do that, or they'll try to shame you. Why do women do that? Because that's their internal playbook. They have no, they can't actually make men do anything physically because obviously we're stronger. So throughout history, that's how they've gotten to control men. However, since y'all wanted equal rights and equal pay so bad, and now that you've gotten it, it's only fair that we, don't, we go 50-50 in the relationship. Which at this point in the video would invoke you saying, oh, like you're broke, you're a broke, insecure guy, naturally, but I don't know if you could tell, that is my water view. According to y'all, I'm a high value man. Like I'm what y'all want. You want a six figure man over six one that is well endowed. <laughs> but the thing is asking for 50, 50, like if you guys are like, oh, I'd love to go 50, 50 with a man, that's fine. But the thing is y'all are asking for everything provided for, which is you know, a guy like me could do it. Most guys can't do it, but I could do it. But imagine if a guy said that, a guy like, and it just speaks to the ego that y'all have that y'all think you're all worth a guy paying for everything when you guys make the exact same because that's what you wanted. Man, I've been seeing the drizzle, drizzle, soft guy air content for like the last week or two. You know what I'm saying? But today, today was actually like the day that I actually went through and was just watching all all the videos about this, you know, all the TikToks about this, uh, specifically the stitches from the women and how they were responding. And man... That thing had me dying, man. The thank pieces that the women were given. You know? <laughs> just how frustrated and aggravated and <laughs> just how mad they are about this whole thing, man. Just like at first, it was super funny because it's like, yo, this is like, it's a joke, man. How are you not getting this? And then it became even funnier because it's like, they're really mad. They mad because men are just like, nah, like, I'm, I'm not going to be the only one giving 100% no more. Like, you're going to do something too. And that got them heated, dude. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Like I said, man, I'm just watching this from the sidelines. You know what I'm saying? I support the fellas, but you know, I'm off the market, you know, but this is pure entertainment, man. I love this. As the self-proclaimed president of the men's rights movement's drizzle drizzle soft guy era, I just want to let you guys know that when you choose to get married to a woman, you're basically placing a bet of 80% of all your assets on the fact that she's not going to cheat and want to leave you. I mean, if you're going to put a bet on 80% of your assets, go to Vegas and do the roulette wheel with a single double or with a single zero. Those are actually better odds than you find in marriage right now. I mean, think about it. It's 56% chance of, of failure. And with, with the roulette wheel, it's only like 50, I think it's like 52%, 52.5% chance of failure. So yeah, just take 80% of your assets, liquidate all your homes and cars and everything else, and then bam, put it all in red or black, your choice. But that's a better solution than marrying a modern day female in America today. Drizzle, drizzle. I'm married and pay all the bills over here at this crib, but I swear, I wish I was one of y'all soft guy era types. Y'all are genius. I hope y'all win. Keep it pushing. Y'all doing great things for God and y'all community. <laughs>
keep it up, man. Make them take you out on dates. Make them pay the bills, yo. Equal rights. Equal rights. Soft guy era for life. I hope y'all win. I'm going to pay all the bills, man. What? Somebody tricked me. Right now, man, my wife upstairs getting ready for a date. Can you believe that? She about to take me out on a date. She about to take me out on a date. Soft guy era. I love this, man. Y'all did it. Y'all did it, man. Kudos to y'all. Y'all made this happen for me. Thank y'all so much. Soft guy era. Y'all keep it pushing. I hope y'all win. I'm about to go on a date. Honestly, I don't know if these guys are serious. Or just want to ridicule some people honestly because the movement or the basis of the movement or the soft guy era is weird to me it's abnormal it's not it's seriously abnormal i know that they have been maybe they they feel like women are taking advantage of them or something and that's why they brought out this theory but it's weird, it's abnormal, it's not something that a responsible guy should think about. Yes, think about your health, think about your mental health, think about your physical health. Um, you should give and also receive. You should not just be the one giving, giving, giving. Be men too. You don't have to take, 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 take from men. You can also give back. I know a lot of people are like, oh, they just want to be taken care of by men. This is, are you giving back? Are you giving back? You can't keep taking, taking, taking. That's just plain irresponsible, in my own opinion, and very selfish. So if the men are saying that they want to also receive, fine, receive good gifts, receive, uh, receive uh, respect and the rest, okay. But this whole, uh, until the ring is on my finger, no uh, husband behavior, I don't, I don't even know what he's talking about. It's just all, I feel it's all a joke. It's just to mimic the women that feel like 100% of their needs should be taken care of by a guy. So, um, I don't know what you guys think about this soft guy era. I don't know what you think about the video of the original creator. I don't know what you think about some of the guys that were featured, what they said. Do you think it's it's a joke or do you think they're actually being serious? I would love to hear your um, thoughts about the soft guy era and the drizzle drizzle movement. I think it's just so funny to me. Drizzle drizzle. But then again, there's a sprinkle sprinkle. Whoa. Anyway, you have love to hear your thoughts about the soft guy era and the drizzle drizzle movement. So please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this, please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you may find anytime I upload videos. Now, with all that said, Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.